government committed to meaningful and improvements to music streaming. The government said it is committed to making meaningful and lasting improvements in response to a report on music streaming released by the Digital Culture, Media and Sport Committee DCMS. The Economics of Music Streaming follow-up report was released by the DCMS in January and said musicians should receive a fairer share of revenues and there should be a complete reset of the music streaming market. In response to the report, which followed the committee's initial 2021 report, the government has agreed to publishing agendas and minutes from the Intellectual Property Offices IPO, working groups on metadata and transparency. The DCMS committee's follow-up report also suggested the IPO establish working groups on remuneration and performer rights to consider the current evidence and monitor developments in other countries. Following the government's response, the acting chair of the DCMS committee and conservative MP Damien Green said, We are pleased that the government has promised to deliver meaningful and lasting improvements to streaming in its response to a follow-up report on music streaming. Our initial inquiry called for a complete reset of streaming in response to issues facing professional musicians and independent companies in the sector. Highlighting the need for equitable remuneration. Publishing information about the work of the industry contact group, transparency and metadata working groups and research projects on remuneration and rights reversion will move the debate and policy discussions along. He continued, we also welcome the steps ministers have taken to engage in this process and to take a more strategic approach to cultural policy. We expect to see a renewed focus on building international partnerships so that we can promote the British creative industries around the world. We also note that our follow-up report requested that the three major music groups provide evidence of royalties that are being paid to legacy artists following recommendations during our initial inquiry. The committee wants to see concrete action from government, regulators and the industry in response to its reports. And will continue to monitor the position closely. The inquiry into the economics of music streaming received more than 300 pieces of written evidence after it was launched in October 2020. Among the artists and performers who gave evidence were songwriter and producer Nile Rogers, Radiohead Zed O'Brien, Elbows Guy Garvey and singer-songwriter Nadine Shah. The inquiry also took evidence from the UK's independent music sector, as well as major record labels Sony Music, Warner Music and Universal Music. Spotify, Amazon, Apple and YouTube also gave evidence.